Part 2. Crimson Flower. Great Tree Moon. Field of Revenge. With the capture of Aryan Road complete, the Imperial Army moves to invade the Kingdom capital. They plot to send troops toward now vulnerable House Fraldarius territory and plan to attack Ferdiad from two sides. So, Aryan Road has fallen. Rodrigue, I swear that I will not allow your death to be in vain. The scouts have just now returned. Seems the Imperial Army is marching toward the Kingdom capital. Are you certain about this, Dimitri? As King, do you think it wise to intercept them yourself? No need to worry yourself. Even if I am defeated, the Blathed Bloodline will live on. And the Kingdom's territory has never been rich in resources. If the castle falls under siege, our loss is inevitable. I will deploy my army onto the plains and wait for the enemy. Please, position your forces so that they can flank the Imperial Army. Yes. Given the present situation, making the plains our battlefield is a logical choice. I have no objection. However... There is only one person I am after. I have no interest in any other prey. I will take you at your word. Erasing the other child's existence is my task, and mine alone. I will get you back, Mother. I promise. What do you think, Lady Edelgard? Will they shut themselves inside of Ferdiad? They will try to intercept us. Of course, Ferdiad will not fall so easily. Even so, if we were to cut off their supply line with a large army, it would eventually fall. It makes much more sense for them to wager everything on a victory at the Tail Team Plains. The same plains where the so-called Divine Seros defeated Nemesis, the King of Liberation, in a comeback victory over a thousand years ago. And about 400 years ago, the hero Lu created the kingdom by defeating the Emperor of the Time on those very plains. Their goal must be to recreate that scene. Yes, I suppose so. Although the Imperial Army is powerful, if we were to compare the strength of our best to the best of the Knights of Seros, we would likely come up short. The Kingdom's Army and House Blathed are also renowned for their unmatched persistence. On the battlefield, it can be assumed that their one and only goal will be to strike you down. Are you telling me to stay off the battlefield? Naturally. You are their aim, Your Majesty. You must know it only makes sense to keep you out of their reach. And you must know that, at a time like this, I absolutely cannot withdraw. <sighs> of course I know that. That is why I will refrain from asking you again to stay away from the battlefield. The Immaculate One, descendants of the Ten Elites, and other extremely fearsome foes await us. But with the help of our friends, we have a chance of defeating them. We are the only ones who can. Within our group, I am included among those with the kind of strength we need to win. I absolutely will not remove myself from the front lines. Professor, you have that same strength as well, whether or not you realize it yet. Please, don't get yourself killed trying to protect me. Until the very end, we'll survive this trial together. Understood? Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love, as well as I love her. With Aryan Road behind them, 
The Black Eagle Strike Force marches north to Ferdia. They plan for the Imperial Army, stationed in former Alliance territory, to take over Fraldarius land, so they are able to attack Ferdiad from two directions. King Dimitri anticipates the Imperial Army's strategy, leading the Kingdom Army and Rhea's Knights of Seros out of Ferdiad, and prepares to intercept the Imperial Army at the Teltine Plains. Mother, oddly, the rain has come to fall yet again. At this place, once again, I will fight to take you back. The one who keeps me from seeing you again. I will be sure to return them to the earth from whence they came. The foolish descendant of Hresvelk, who bears her fangs at me, will suffer the same fate. Lady Rhea. Call me Seros now. I am no longer the Archbishop, but rather a warrior. Yes, Lady Seros. Because of the rain, we have not yet confirmed the position of our enemy, or of the Kingdom Army. Search the route to Ferdiad. It is unlikely that they have strayed far from it. When you discover the Imperial Army's main force, commence the attack. If the Kingdom's army has already engaged, Flank the enemy as planned. As you wish. Wait for me, dear child. I will be paying you a visit soon. When this sword has been plunged into your chest, yes. That is the very moment I long for. I was hoping they would strike the church first. We must have miscalculated the rate of their advance. Reorganize the formation. We have no choice but to buy time until the church arrives. It will be a long battle. Are you afraid to do? No. So long as I am at your side, there is nothing to fear. I can always rely on you. Just watch, my friend. We will prevail. I will not fail to get revenge for all who have fallen. I would follow you anywhere, Your Majesty. Good luck out there. You as well, Dudu. You as well. Your Majesty, for you, I will. A flag of blue is flapping in the rain. It must be the Kingdom Army. Yes. It seems that King Dimitri is leading the troops himself. However, the Knights of Saros have yet to be seen. Perhaps they have split up. I can't imagine that Dimitri would leave the capital to the church and face us with the Kingdom Army alone. He must be planning to use the church to gain the upper hand in battle. With the rain, that must be difficult to coordinate. Still, the Knights of Saros must be around here somewhere. And we should be on alert for attacks from the side and rear as well. Inform the entire army. Yes, sir. Now that I think about it, the Kingdom's army is quite different than it once was. They have taken a position of interception. In the past, the king would have introduced himself before beginning a fair fight. A fair fight? The words alone remind me of how he once was. Don't you agree, Professor? Yes. He often spoke of such things back at the monastery. Well... At the present, the words fair fight do not seem to suit Dimitri anymore. He dislikes making victims of his friends. But other than that, he will do most anything these days. If he stops at nothing to continue the onslaught, I cannot imagine what will become of the battlefield. True. As soon as we can take our battle formation, we must advance. Dimitri, that past you cling to, I will soon free you from it. <laughs> 